Uh, this small kit review is of the uh, GMC pickup uh, with a snow plow. It's a 124 scale model by Ravel. And uh, as you can see, there it's got those extra details here for the snow plow. Uh, here's some of the details for the dimensions and details about the uh, truck. And uh, some pictures there of the finished model. Let's have a look inside here and see what parts we've got. First of all here we'll have a look at our uh, truck body and these parts. So here is the uh, truck cab, you can see our firewalls uh, molded there, we've got windshield wipers molded in, some other parts here, uh, battery there in the corner, some little lines and tubes there, and uh, here is the inside of the uh, back, the outside, our panels, there's the uh, back door, it'll open and close. And it looks like we've got a, uh, a roll bar there. Here we've got our uh, tires, and these are made out of hard vinyl. We do have some, some tread molded in here. Now next we've got our uh, remaining white sprues here. So here we've got our uh, looks like a spare tire. There's the front hood. That's the uh, back of the uh, cab. We've got some. I'm not sure if there's suspension parts or not. Any wheel hubs there. And then that's our main cab there with the uh, bench seat. Here we have our engine parts, it's engine block transmission. Here's our uh, radiator, and uh, there is the uh, pedal box with our dashboard and instrument panel. More parts for the engine. I've got some suspension parts. Here's our belt and uh, headers gas can here, engine, this is actually the fan shroud for the engine and then part of our uh, probably part of our uh, snow plow here we've got suspension parts and wheels wheel parts there, here's our suspension with our drive shaft, rear axle um, and probably front as well this is probably a four wheel drive, here's our fan and then here is our uh, chassis with uh, we'll have to f uh, sand that off, but that's on our. Uh, it says 1977. That's when this mold was made. And we've got our exhausts and mufflers molded in, as well as fuel tanks. Oh, we do have some more white parts. Here's our glass, quite nicely molded actually, rear glass. And then uh, that's the top. We've got some uh, glass for the lights and then uh, our front windshield. Let's have a look here. This is probably parts for the snow plow because I bet you that's uh, in addition to the regular. Yep, that's the snow plow parts there with the springs and lights. All parts for the snow plow there. because this is probably just a regular truck model that they made. Okay, and then we've got our chrome parts. And, uh, again, not really a fan of the Ravel chrome. Here is our uh, front grille. We've got our wheels, steering wheel, our uh, 
headlights there, we've got our bumpers front and back here are our uh, side mirrors engine parts there more engine parts okay now we've got our instructions and decals and there are the decals quite nicely printed some different license plates Okay, details there about the uh, truck. Here are the colors needed. And then uh, build the engine. Engine's then mounted to the uh, chassis. All the suspension parts are then put on, as well as our drive shaft and axles. More suspension parts going in there. And build our wheels and put the tires on. Start off with our cabin or cockpit. We've got our uh, dashboard going onto our uh, uh, seats there, glass going in, and that's all then mounted inside the uh, cabin. Starting to build the engine bay, we mount the cockpit or cabin uh, inside. We've got our front uh, grille going on and bumper. That's all then mounted on our chassis. And then uh, looks like it'll be able to go up and down so you can see inside or not. Our front hood. Then we've got our uh, the back here, the bed. Mount all that on there. And that's mounted onto the chassis as well. We've then got our uh, radio antenna as well as our roll bar that's all mounted on and our rear lights and uh, bumper gas can and then our uh, extra wheel all the little trim accessories going onto the truck and then we start off with our snow plow It's all then added onto the front like that. Here are our decal and paint guide options. Either one of those with the GMC logo. So all in all, that's actually a fun little kit to build um, and uh, some nice details.